This video is one of a series of lessons on how to use IntelliScore to help you transcribe music. You can download IntelliScore from www.intellescore.net. Today I'm going to show you how to convert audio recordings to MIDI files and work with the resulting notation. You may have two questions at this point. What is a MIDI file and why would I want to convert audio to MIDI? First, let's define audio files. When we speak of audio files, we are referring to digital recordings of music. The recordings may be stored on standard CDs or in various types of computer files, such as MP3 and WAV files. Now, unlike audio files, a MIDI file doesn't actually contain any sounds. Instead, it contains a list of musical notes in a song. Why would you want this? Say there's a song you want to play, but you don't have sheet music for it. What are your options? Well, you could listen to the song over and over again to pick out the notes and transcribe it entirely by hand. But that takes a lot of time and it's really not that much fun, is it? The other option is to use IntelliScore to convert your song to a MIDI file. Then you can import the MIDI file into notation software to see the notes. IntelliScore helps convert your audio recordings to MIDI files to assist you in transcribing music potentially saving you hours of time. Okay, let's see how IntelliScore works. What you see now is the main IntelliScore screen that appears when you open the application. To start a new conversion project, click on the icon in the top left corner. This opens the new project wizard, which will ask us some questions about the music and what we want to do with it. The first step is to tell us IntelliScore where the music is. For example, can be on a file in your computer, on a standard audio CD, you can record directly into IntelliScore, etc. For this demonstration, the music is on a standard CD that would play in any CD player. So let's select the second option that says, My music is recorded on an audio CD. I am now inserting the CD into the computer's CD drive. IntelliScore will show us a track listing and begin playing the first track. The first track is a snippet of a song I wrote named Transform Me. Now we select the track we want to, to transcribe by clicking on it in the track listing. For this lesson I'm going to leave the first track selected and then click the Transfer Track button. Let's rename the file to something more meaningful. Click Save. IntelliScore is now transferring the CD track to the computer. As you can see, the music track is now right in here. But we're not done yet. We still need to convert it to a MIDI file. Click Next. Now we tell IntelliScore whether or not we know what instruments comprise the original audio. If we wanted to create a multi-instrument, multi-track MIDI file, we would indicate the first choice, I know what instruments comprise the original audio. For this lesson, we only need a single track MIDI file, and the audio contains only one instrument anyway, so let's select the second option, I do not know what instruments comprise the original audio. Click Next. As you can see, we are reminded that all the notes will be written to one MIDI track. Click Yes to continue. Now we select what instrument sound we want to hear when we play back our MIDI file. It doesn't need to be the same instrument that the original audio was recorded with. There are many instruments to choose from. Just for fun, let's select Harpsichord. Click Next. Here we make a choice based on how we are going to use the MIDI file. IntelliScore can either create a MIDI file optimized for listening or optimized for notation. For this lesson, we want to work with notation. So let's select the notation timing option. Click Next. Now we need to tell IntelliScore where the beats are. 
This will ensure that the beats and measures will line up properly in the notation, even when the tempo of the music changes. I am first going to click the play button. That will start playing the original audio. While it is playing, I am going to tap the spacebar along with the beat of the music, starting at the first measure that I want converted. Okay, now after clicking the stop button, the tap extender window may appear. If the tempo remains steady throughout the music, you can tap only a portion of the music and a telescore can extend your tapping to the beginning and or end of the music. For best results, however, you should tap during the entire portion of the audio that you want converted. I tap the entire thing, so I'm just going to click cancel to get out of this window. You can see that according to our tapping, the music contains 32 beats at an average tempo of 111 beats per minute. Click Next. Here we set the timing resolution. We could leave it at Auto Detect, but that may result in a lot of short duration events such as 30 second notes, and we may not want to deal with those in the notation. Assuming I tapped at every quarter note in the previous step, I'm going to select eighth notes, since there were two notes per quarter note. Click Next. Of course we need a name for our MIDI file that is about to be created. Let's just accept the name Intel score suggests for us. Click Next. Okay, we're done with the wizard. Click Finish and off it goes. Okay, the MIDI file is ready. As you can see, IntelliScore has not only created a MIDI file from our CD track, it has also estimated the key of the music, tuning, tempo, and meter. Now we can start using our MIDI file. First, let's just listen to it and compare it with the original music from the CD. Click on the Sync Player button. Okay, let's listen to the original audio and then the MIDI. As you heard when we played the MIDI, it now sounds like the music is being played on a harpsichord. That's a pretty good starting point to help us with transcribing this music, but we'll want to clean it up. For this, let's look at the notes that IntelliScore detected by opening the MIDI file in MIDI editing software. We have configured IntelliScore to use Anvil Studio as our MIDI editor software. The basic version of Anvil Studio is included with IntelliScore. IntelliScore opens Anvil Studio and imports our MIDI file. Anvil Studio offers several different ways to work with notes in the MIDI file. To see it in standard notation, select View Composer. In addition to the notation, we can see the chord names that IntelliScore detected above the staff. Here is a detected key signature and meter. Now let's edit and clean up the transcription. First, although the meter is shown as 3-4 time, I really think it should be 4-4 time. So just select the new time signature, and now it's fixed. Now let's remove this high pitch note that doesn't belong here. We can right click on it and select Remove Note. There you go. While we're here, we can easily transpose the notation if we desire. Select Track, Transpose, Entire Track. Let's change this from the key of G minor to the key of A minor. So that's two steps higher, so let's enter 2 and OK. Now let's change the key signature from G minor to A minor. Now let's play it again at the new key.
we can continue editing the MIDI file in this manner. When we are satisfied with our transcription, we can select File, Save Song to save all our edits. That concludes this lesson. For more information on IntelliScore and to view more lessons, please visit www.intelliscore.net.